Daniel Medvedev versus Yannick Sinner is the final of the China Open for 2023. And both guys have been super impressive to get to the final. Sinner entered the tournament as the number six seed and will take on Dan Evans in the first round. And after dropping the second set, would fight to win in three, six, four, six, seven, six, three. In the second round, he'd take on Nishioka. And this is by far the easiest match so far this week for Sinner, getting through in straights, six, two, six, love. In the quarterfinals, he'd take on Dimitrov, who had just taken out Runa, the third seed in the previous round. And after dropping the second set, Sinner would fight back to win, six, four, three, six, six, two, to advance to the semis. In the semi-finals, he'd take on Carlos Alcaraz, the number one seed, who'd played some epic matches against in the past. And after a close first set, Sinner would get through in straights, 7-6-6-1, to advance to the final. Medvedev entered the tournament as the number two seed and would take on Paul in the first round. But this was no problem getting through in straights, 6-2-6-1. In the second round, he'd take on Dimonor, and after a close first set, he'd get through in straights, 7-6-6-3. In the quarterfinals, he'd take on Umber, who had taken out Rublev, the number five seed in the previous round. And this was the toughest match so far. After dropping the second set, having to fight back to win 6 4 3 6 6 1 to advance to the semi finals. In the semi finals, he'd take on Alexander Zverev, the number eight seed, a man he'd already played four times this year. But Medvedev was on a different level, getting through in straights 6 4 6 3 to advance to the final. These two have played six times before, with Medvedev winning all six matches, including two matches this year. However, in Rotterdam, at the start of the year, Medvedev did have to fight from a set down to beat Sinner. And the previous time they played, Sinner was coming off a very tough match in the semis. This time around, he should be a little bit more fresh. If Sinner's going to win this one, he needs to be aggressive like he was against Elkris, but he also needs to bring in the variety. He did come to the net a lot against Elkris as well, and the fact that he didn't play a long match against Elkris, that's probably going to help him this time around against Medvedev, because in Miami, he played a very long, tough match against Elkris in the semis, and then didn't have enough gas in the tank, but this time around, he might be fresher than he was. Medvedev's going to win this one, and he's a play like he did against Zverev. A lot of great passes shots from Medvedev. That's what he's done the last couple of months against guys like Elkaraz Zverev. He's been able to really do some great passing shots and play some really great tennis and he knows how to beat Sinner. He's done it six times before so he doesn't really have to change his game that much unless Sinner does something different. What a great matchup in the final. I think a lot of people thought it was going to be Medvedev Elkaraz but Sinner who is starting to really prove himself but I gotta go with Medvedev. That head-to-head -head is way too one-sided to go against Medi at this point so I'm gonna go with Medvedev in three but I reckon Sinner's gonna make this really interesting but I have to go with Medvedev. Let me know down in the comments below. Who's going to win this one?